Aquarius, 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 what's popping? What's going on in the life of an Aquarian between now and the 28th of February? Hmm? Hmm? I know y'all like Mocha back so soon. Yes, I am. Hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time to my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look out, I cuss. Okay, so if cussing does not work for you, please feel free to find another beautiful reader here on YouTube that can resonate with you better without cussing. Because see me, the way I'm set up, huh, I'm going to do that. All right, so <laughs> with that said, you guys, um, to my new subscribers, welcome to the family, you all. We only dysfunctional. We, we may cry sometimes, okay? But what we don't do is fight and fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel, all right? But we do love, we grow, we evolve. We just really embrace one another, you guys. We share. This is a family community. We are one big happy family, y'all. And I just truly appreciate all the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments. Thank you so very much. You guys, to my returning subscribers, Familia, are we really having some type of different insights? You guys are really having a lot of telepathic experiences with your twin flames during this time. Some of you all are experiencing a whole different type of newness in as far as the way that you see life. You're, you're gaining a different a different perception of the things around you and the things that you've even been through and why you had to go through those things in order to attain this particular wisdom that you walk around and you actually have to, that you use to encourage others. A lot of you all are empaths, all right? So with that, you guys, we're moving to um, great times, very prosperous times in this age of Aquarius, and I'm just really ready. I know you guys are as well, all right? So with that said, this is a general reading. It is not personal. Um, if you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description box and all of the details regarding personal personal readings down there okay it's down there all right and uh this will be for my sun moon rising venus as well as the cross watchers gang gang okay for the sign of aquarius between now and the 28th of february some of you guys um but well, some other signs are gonna be mad at me because i do what spirits say not what people say so miss me cross watchers and look because i gotta stay in aquarius videos miss me with that bully shit this is not your your, your whoever you are tarot channel this is Mocha Love's Tarot Channel. So don't tell me how to run my shit or what you feel like particular cards mean because not only do I not care, but I, I really don't want to give no fucks to those situations when I do what I do out of pure love, even through all of the trials and tribulations that I face. So that's just really my truth and really expressing that because I can't stand looking at some particular zodiac signs. Um, comments and I see that bully shit. I didn't do bullies and in, 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 I don't do bullies in everyday life. I never really did bullies. And so don't be missing me with that comment, with that bully shit in the comment section. I don't like it. And I'm not going to acknowledge it. I'm never going to acknowledge it because I don't give people that power in my on, 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 in my show. Okay, that we don't do that. All right, there would never, there have not been one monkey, twelve monkeys, twenty six monkeys to ever stop the mocha show. So we're not going to do that. Okay, moving forward, this is not for everybody. Uh, the Aquarius, y'all have a lot of comments, and some of them, I don't know if y'all take the time to read all of your comments, but some of them, don't be so nice, Aquarius and Scorpio, the fixed energies, that bully shit, I'm not with it, alright, so just before you even think, if you thought about saying some shit, constructive criticism is one thing, but bully shit is another, your personal opinion of me and all of that, that's, that's go tell your mama, because I don't care, alright, so let's rock, intuitively, We'll start off with your intuitive messages. For the sign of Aquarius, okay, take what resonates, you guys, leave the rest, all right? But for you guys, the messages that I received was finding your flow, astral travel, humbling, agreements, dreams, ancestors, surrender, soul contracts, mediumship, that's that life purpose, life path, and wealth, okay? So for some of you all, you're really, really, really in a very, very, very pertinent place in your life where you just really don't have time for the bullshit. You're really focusing more so on spirituality. You're focusing on more so of your life path, your purpose. Why am I here? What is my greater purpose to the universe? What is my superpower? Okay. So for some of you all, you're, um, we're going to start with your um your archangel message that comes from the archangel of the cards by Doreen Virtue. You guys got gentleness. Okay. Archangel Sandophon, 
send you the message of be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. Protect your energy, Aquarius. Okay? This is a very pivotal time. The energies of the moon has been extremely sensitive, especially when moons are in um, yin signs. That moon, that, that it depends. You have to research the energy around the moon. I believe we just had a full moon in Virgo. We have a new moon in Libra. So it's balancing out those emotions, balancing out those feminine aspects as well as the masculine aspects of yourself. Your overall energy around the reading is going to be between the hearts. So I definitely feel that some of you all are, and, and I feel the energy of um of that of the heart chakra being activated for a lot of you all. So you're going to be very sensitive to possibly movies or things of that nature during this time. Some of the small things that your children do. It even may be tears of joy, but you're going to be very sensitive. Embrace that energy. Let spirit bestow that onto you so that you can, it can assist you in maneuvering. Um, towards your life path, your life purpose through uh, creative expression and thought, okay? So some of you all during this time may be um, kind of going over your past, kind of going over reflecting, seeing life, seeing yourself, okay? And, being, and seeing yourself with the eyes of gentleness, okay? Really seeing yourself in a, in a more so expansive way. You're stabilizing your emotions. For some of you all, you're seeing yourself through another person who you possibly have some type of spiritual contract or bond with. You're seeing your errors and some of the negative and positive aspects of yourself through this other person, okay? Some of you all, things are like you needing to know that things are aligning the way as they should be. Spirit is saying things are coming into harmony. There are harmonious outcomes, okay? It depends on how it really, really, really resonates with you. For some of you all, there is harmony within choosing self, okay? Within choosing to look at yourself and understand that you are in the driver's seat of your reality and where it goes. So understanding that um, will give you a greater understanding of the way things work as far as the spiritual realm, um, contracts, agreements, reasons, seasons, life lessons, karmic partners who came to teach us lessons that are going to really, really, really allow us to ascend to higher heights in the future. You don't understand it now, but it's happening for you, okay? So for some of you all, you're really needing to see things again. You're seeing things from a different perspective. You're seeing things, the birth, and, and, and it's creating something within you. It's the birth of a new understanding and a new perception of this thing called life and how, how things move and the flow of things and how they should go as they shall be divine timing. For some of you all, um, you're being blessed possibly with the, I do see, um, a crystal child. Some of you guys have been really contemplating about a pregnancy, about a birth. I feel like there's a, some type of like manipulative outcome or some type of a karmic karmic tied to the situation or the pregnancy within itself, but I definitely feel like you need to release those fears because that baby was destined to come here. That baby is going to be great. You're having a light seed, baby. So this is why you're focused on your spirituality because you're meant to breathe life, bring that bring that wisdom, that knowledge, that is through your experiences to that child because that child is a light seed. That child will move to 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 that child will move to um, move towards a purpose of expanding um, the world through unconditional love, through some sort of uh, Christ consciousness, with unconditional love. That is why you're having so many complications even around the pregnancy, which is possibly what scares the hell out of you. But spirit is saying no more. You don't have to. You can release those fears and see things only through the lenses of love. OK, for some of you all, this definitely has to do with the situation regarding the father. Again, I thought it was around a karmic situation, the father of your child. OK, or the this could also be your father seeing things from new lenses, seeing things from the love of a child. Okay, so let's get it. Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Aquarians in love from now until the 28th of February? Yeah, you guys being courageous, pushing through your hurts, pushing through your circumstances, pushing through um, any type of obstacles that may that you feel may prevent you from being your highest self. Okay, for some of you are you're moving away. Uh, possibly from a Leo, okay? Are you moving forward in love? You're trusting in love again. You're not living in that place of the past and being reflective over what happened, okay? For some of you all, there was some form of a tired moment, okay, that you're really needing to be strong through in order to push through and only see the lens, see things through the lenses of love, see things through the lenses of forgiveness. And for some of you all, look at it from this perspective. OK, if you are the most high God, creator, Gaia, whatever, whatever suits you, OK, to whoever you pray to your high power. OK, there are billions and billions and billions of us as far as creation and we are not perfect. We do make mistakes when you understand that there is no right or wrong, but a lesson and understanding that is to be gained. 
then we can truly, truly, truly expand our consciousness to higher heights versus living in this box of the this box of the paradigms of this world. You get what I'm saying? The, your perception is everything. Perception, perception is the foundation of how we know to view things. The emotions that the, 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 the your perception is what triggers those emotions that you live out through, that you experience. And so when you when you choose to expand in as far as um, philosophically as well as on a philanthropist level and look at things from different lenses, look at things instead of how you how they say it's her story, his story and the truth. Look at things from more than just one aspect. Get out of the box, baby. Yeah. Yeah. For some of you all, this could have to do with the Gemini, okay? For some of you all, this could have to do with the twin flame, with the twin flame union. I feel that there, um, there is a coming together, but there is some slight resistance from either yourself or the other party. And I feel like it has to do with holding on to hurts and uh, past trauma that could have occurred with either this person or some outside person or some fear of being vulnerable, possibly due to some form of um chaotic childhood okay so there's this fear of commitment because you just really don't want to live in the same cycle that you kind of grew up in but for some of you all you're kind of contracted here spiritually to actually shift that cycle especially if you have any form of like mutable uh mutable aspects in your chart gemini virgo pisces sagittarius you could also be dealing with one okay but for some of you all yeah there's this resistance and uh, confusion, inner conflict, okay, possibly having to do with the Gemini or again, some type of twin flame union, soulmate partnership, okay, it's like you have this one person has this knowing that you are my new beginning, you are my love, you are the, you are the, the yin to my yang, um, but there is new love here, okay, and for some of you all, it's this fear of, you know, how things have been in the past, you know, well, in the past, this person did this, you know, and for some of you all, you're really needing to release that, let go of those fears, leave those fears behind because you're moving into a new cycle, one that is abundant, one that is full of unconditional love, one where your soulmate or your partner possibly mirrors you. Like, I feel like you're dealing with a situation where the, your your weakness, your weaknesses is this person's perfections and likewise, okay? But for some of you all, there's victory moving forward possibly into a new cycle with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? For some of you all, um, you're being courageous, you're pushing through the fear, um, you're releasing power. Some of y'all are releasing a Scorpio. Some of y'all could be releasing the sign of Leo and moving forward towards another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But for you're definitely moving away from past issues, past hurts, past past deceptions, past uh, gossip, just the past period, plus the past, okay? For some of you all, this is having to do with reuniting, taking an offer to reunite, uh, possibly with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. For some of you all, it's an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, but there is going to be some type of renewal here, okay? And it's up to you to make that judgment, okay? where does things go right where does things go because for some of you all it definitely has to do with a queen of wands king of wands queens can also be kings take what resonates but for some of you all it's something that you're very passionate about okay it's something that you're in love all right for those of you dealing with fire i do see moving forward after a period of resistance okay especially if this is a reconciliation i see victorious outcomes for those of you who are dealing with uh air signs gemini libra aquarius there's this form of confusion okay there's a bit of confusion but i feel like there's not a whole lot of communication maybe you're not communicating with this person you can live in the same house and not be openly communicating with this person because someone has a fear of vulnerability all right for those of you who are dealing with water signs cancer pisces scorpio this could be someone new okay this could also be someone who you walked away from who wants to renew a relationship or a form of commitment this could also have to do with past lives you loved each other before you've known each other before familiar spirits for those of you who are dealing with earth signs um but for some of you who are dealing with water if you're dealing with the sign of scorpio i definitely feel like there's some form of a tire moment and then a renewal okay for those of you who are dealing with earth capricorn towards Virgo, I feel that you feel that this offer is extremely too slow moving and for some of you, you're making the judgment to move away from it and reconcile either with someone from your past or just truly, truly, truly move forward with everything that you've learned as far as dealing with relationships and focus on the things that you're passionate about, whether that be new love, because I do see that here, or that be uh, you see a situation from your past from a different perspective and now you want to go and reconcile and give an um, offer of reconciliation, okay? So let's clarify. Spirit, why is the Tower card here? Why is the Tower card here? 
Yeah. So you guys are moving away from a Scorpio. Okay. You feel like this person feel as if, you know, the grass is greener. They like grass. They like cake. Let their ass go eat that cake and find their face in the grass because it's not greener on the other side. But whoever is feeling this way, if you're dealing with the sign of Scorpio. Uh, for those of you dealing with the sign, I'm sorry, why the strength part here? Yeah, for some of you all, you're balancing out a situation, moving forward, embracing love, possibly with the Leo. Okay. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here with the seven of wands? Yeah. Victoriously moving forward after a period of resistance, after a period of somebody really not wanting to see the connection for what it is. Yeah. For some of you all, this could be after a third party situation or after allowing that third party energy to just kind of sit. Um, sit for some of you it's been three years for some of you it's been three months for some of you it's been um, two years two months six years six months six weeks why is the judgment card here why is the judgment card here why is this judgment card who is this and why is the judgment card here yeah Right, you so you're making a judgment about releasing internal conflicts, you're really making a decision, making a solid decision that not only suits you but everyone involved. Okay, I definitely feel like while this Ace of Cups is here, some of you guys could actually be um, moving forward on a new love offer, taking things slowly, not rushing things. Okay, I definitely feel like watch out for some form of deception. Some of you guys really be, um, really, 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 really watch. What you tell people during this time, I think I just told Taurus that watch what you tell people during this time for some of you all, especially when it comes to outsiders. I definitely feel like some of you guys are keeping your feelings and your emotions to yourself. Uh, for some of you all, this person who you are reconciling with has not walked away from their clear ways. So for some of you all, just really, this is a time to really observe, make sure that the person's actions are aligning with their words. Okay. So this is what I have for my beautiful Aquarius between now and the 28th of February. I love you all so very much. I send you much love, much abundance peace blessings much healing you guys and i truly 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 want you to know that you are the creator of your own destiny namaste y'all i love y'all you need a personal hit me up bye y'all